we'll have the laying of the dignitary wreaths. The Government of Canada. George Wonton, Edward Hallett, Rob this morning in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And one final time, I'll call upon Comrade Terry Messer again to, for, uh, for the uh, prayer for peace. I'm going to keep you people praying this afternoon. <laughs> Will you join me in a prayer for peace this afternoon? When I come to the part of the prayer that says, God give peace, would you then pray with me, God give peace? Shall we pray? God, we pray for all who suffer as a result of conflict, and we ask that you may give us peace for the servicemen and women who have died in the violence of war, each one remembered by and known to you, God, alone. May God give peace. God give peace. For those who love them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss. May God give peace. God give us peace. For all the members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, remembering their family and their friends, and all who pray for their safe return, may God give peace. God give us peace. For the women and children and men whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the angry anger and the hatreds of humanity, may God give peace. God give us peace. For the peacemakers and the peacekeepers who seek to keep this world secure and free, may God give peace. God give peace. For all who bear the burden and the privilege of leadership, political, military, and religious, asking for gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace, may God give peace. God give peace. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memories we cherish and those whose names we will never know. 
We intercede for those who are suffering in our world. Amen. Thank you, Terry. As we, get, as we begin to wind down the service, I'd like to uh, say a few thank yous. First of all, a special thanks to the following individuals and groups for your participation in this act of remembrance. Our Legion Chaplain, Comrade Terry Messer. A very special thanks to all of our veterans and 403 Squadron personnel who participated in the service today. A special thanks to all who supported this very important day by purchasing wreaths, crosses, and poppies and for attending our ceremony of remembrance and coming to remember the sacrifice made by so many for freedom and peace. Also, we'd like to thank, a very big thank you to Bucky Blair and Red Hayes, whose hard work and dedication helped make this poppy campaign a huge success. And just a reminder before we close up the ceremony, unfortunately branch number seven of the Royal Canadian Legion is closed except for members due to COVID-19 restrictions. Now we will have the playing of God Save the Queen. Lord God of hosts, be with us yet, lest we forget, lest we forget. Once again, a reminder that the branch will be open, but uh, for members only. Uh, the lunch and banquet tonight are also canceled. And we'd like to thank every one of you for coming out today. Whether we are inside or outside, we should never forget the importance of today and every day. Thank you to our veterans our members serving, and never forget those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for the freedom of our country, lest we forget.